Did you guys work on your catches at all? I caught it. Everybody on YouTube, just everybody on Zoom. All right. Everybody go ahead, uh, stuff off to the side. I'm gonna get attendance going, so you guys just go ahead, drop in place, or uh, jog in place. Jog in place, you can't drop in place. That's not how that works, right? All right, go ahead, start jogging in place. All right, let's see here. Okay. I'm trying attendance differently this time, I'm still here, I'm just gonna, Try to write you guys' names on the board and then do it after class, so hopefully it'll be a little faster uh, than just figuring everybody out during class. So just give me a second. Uh, okay, every time I say drop, you guys are gonna go ahead, drop, and give me one push up. Okay, ready and drop. Drop down, one push up, back up. Keep jogging, keep jogging. And drop. Down, one push up, back up. Okay, cool, all right. That's everybody so far, so we should be good. There we go, and drop! Down, 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 down. Get that push up, back up. I clapped so hard the it rock marker fell to the ground. Okay, tie. Very good, you guys. As I mentioned before, you need some sort of table, you need some sort of couch or whatever it may be. So what we're gonna be doing here is you guys are gonna go ahead and get up nice and close to the camera. The reason being is we're gonna sprint to our couch as quickly as we can, okay? As soon as we sprint to our couch, we can then go ahead and walk back here. Yes, Oliver. Yes, absolutely, go for it. Yes, Paxton. I don't know how we have a lot of questions about this, but we'll work. Is that like just touching your couch? Or like yeah, staying? touch your couch, just touch it. The reason we're going to a couch and not a dot is that way you guys can build up a little more speed if you have a short area. So if you're only taking two or three steps, you can still sprint with those two or three steps and be good. All right, ready? So we're up here, when I say go, sprint to the couch and back. Ready, get set, and go, so sprint. And back. See, now you kind of run into it full speed. There you go. All right, Donovan sec, or Donovan, good to see you on the YouTubes over there. All right, ready and go. So sprint, and back. See, like I said, you're only getting a few steps, so that's fine. And go, sprint, and back. Ready, and go, sprint, and back. Ready, and go, sprint. And back. Good job, all right. How are you guys doing? Good, perfect. Okay, so you now need your couch. Yes, I can lift up my couch with one hand. All right, so using the couch, stool, chair, whatever it may be, we're gonna go ahead and do some calf raises, all right? How we're gonna do this, because it's uh, more difficult for you guys, my older guys here, is we're gonna do five calf raises, two feeted, so I'm here, 
I'm gonna go ahead. A calf raise is where I just go on my tippy toes back down. So I'll go five, one, two, three, four, five. Put one foot up, one, two, three, four, five. Switch, one, two, three, four, five, and back. You guys got it? Actually, you know what? I see it on Nathan's face. He's telling me it looks too easy. So you know what? Let's just cut out the two-legged ones, and we're just gonna do one leg the entire time. Time. So, uh, five on this leg, switch, five on the other leg. Ready? All right, one minute, go. If you feel like maybe doing 10, and then 10, and then switch, that's fine too. So as opposed to five and fives and 10 tens. I think that was like 30, I forgot to count. Gage, good to see you over on YouTube, sir. You pick whichever one. Uh, 10 will be a little uh, more tiring, um, but you'll get a good workout no matter what. Doing good. All right, time, good. Flipping over now and turning. We're just gonna go ahead, push-ups elevated on the uh, couch here. Now my younger guys got to do these type of push-ups where they were here and they did them. You guys get to do these type of push-ups. So feet up, push up position, all the way down back up. You guys ready? Why am I the only person there? Come on. Elevated or like decreased elevated? Decreased elevated. Ready? One minute. Go. Ooh, I gotta get this with my hand. And keep going, you guys. Keep going, keep going. That's where I gotta end. On my shoulder. Keep going, keep going. Last 10 seconds. Come on, Nathan. Get those feet back up there. Palmer. Get back down there. I'll add on an extra 10 seconds for Palmer. Nathan? All right, you guys, I'll add on an extra 10 seconds for Nathan. Paxton, what are you doing? Get back down there. All right, you guys, I'll add on an extra 10 seconds for Paxton. Keep going, you guys. Triggered the falling over. All right, we'll get back down there. 10 more seconds. This is the last 10 more seconds, I promise. Nathan, I can see you standing there. Fixes his camera, so. <laughs> and time. All right, you guys, you're back up. Justin, how you doing? Felt like you were down there the whole time busting those out. Good, all right, so you guys, stool, whatever it may be. We're gonna go ahead and do some rotation stuff here. So um, we're gonna start by facing the couch, then we'll go sideways, then back, and then um, sideways again. So the way we're gonna be doing these is we're gonna be doing a front round side back with each thing. So I'll start with my right leg. So I'm going to front kick over, turn, side kick, Turn, back kick, turn, round kick. You guys got it? So all three of my kicks are done on my right leg, okay? Once I've done all three, I'm then gonna switch, and now I'll go front kick, left, boom, front kick, 
or side kick, and then back kick, and then the round kick will swing all the way around. You guys got it? All right, let's see it. Go. Mr. Yorkton, good to see you. Let me fix YouTube real fast so I can actually see you guys' comments. It's got you like windowed, so small. There we go. All right, cool. See everybody. Okay. So here, boom, front kick, side kick, back kick, round kick. There it is. Keep going. Let me see it. Nathan, what are you kicking over? That couch, good. Evan, do you know what we're doing? So we're gonna find our couch, we're gonna face it, and we're gonna start on our right leg. So, or a table, or a stool, or whatever. And facing forward, you're gonna front kick over, then you're gonna turn sideways with the same leg, side kick over, then turn backwards, back kick over, and then finish off the circle with a round kick. All right, so we're doing all four kicks in circles over an object, all right? Cool, all right, get started then, let's see it. All right, Oliver, let me see it. Nice front kick, turn sideways now. Side kick, woo, nice clean blade. Back kick, hook, woo, that was like a spinning. Uh, round. That was cool. You guys ever done a spinning round? Are you here? Okay, time. Great job, you guys. Uh, if you're using a stool or whatever, go ahead and put it back where it goes. Um, put it out of the way. There you go. Alright, Justin, did you know that I can lift 2 million grain? Like bench press, 2 million grain? Alright. Cool. Okay guys, next thing here, we're going to hop in. I can, I can bench 2 million grain. 2 million grain is uh, 200 pounds. Grain is a unit of measurement that's super, super small. So as opposed to saying 200 pounds, you could say 2 million grain. And then everyone's like, dude, that's so strong. All right. Sorry, that was pretty you bad. That? <laughs> it's pretty bad, Mr. Harris joke. All right. Guard stance. Sorry about that, you guys. I do want to run through focus form. Super, super quick. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, so, Chariet, Kunye, and Chajak. X up, down, out, bow. Step forward, high block, punch, double chop, in block, ground kick, back, low block. Step back, X up, I out. I'm going slow, so if you don't need me, pass me. Okay, here, chop. Punch, shovel hand, front kick, turn, back kick, chop, punch. That's the end of combo two right there. Okay. Step back, high block, punch, punch forward, push down, shovel hand, side kick, diagonal chop, chop, punch, side kick, chop, punch, chop. Split, elbow spin, chop, punch, punch forward, X up, I out. And there's the end of combo. One, two, and three, and four. All right, any questions on focus form, you guys? We all pretty good on it? Solid stuff. Let's hop right into intensity form then, okay? Combo number two, all right? Um, 
In the younger kids class, I spent a lot of time on hip shifts, so we're gonna continue focusing on hip shifts here a little bit. Um, uh, yes, Oliver. If you have a question, you can always type it in the chat and I'll see it um, during class. I was gonna say, I was gonna ask if I could do the form on my own while you were doing it, but then I heard you were working on something shifting. Yeah, hip shifts. So, um, I will always tell you guys when you can work on your own. I've got black belts like Mr. First in the, and Mr. Yelverton in the chat, so they don't always wanna uh, stay with everybody. So if you if there's a section that I don't want you to be part of, I'll tell you. So yeah, no problems though. All right, stick with me for the first couple run-throughs because we're not gonna do the whole form. I just wanna do the first part and then we'll hit you uh, later with some uh, solo time there. <laughs> ah. All right, okay you guys, ready? We're here, set position, in our guard stance. So we're starting with the right movement as we windmill, okay? So guard stance, step behind, windmill to the high block. <coughs> now this is gonna be kind of a fall step, all right? So what that means is I don't want to step, step, then readjust, okay? There are times for readjust, there are times for not. So we're here, guard stance, Step behind, that foot that you just stepped behind with, that's where your right foot's gonna be for your stance. Okay, so it's not gonna shift or move. So now we've circled, we've gotta take and kind of fall back into that stance as we high block. You guys got it? So that's kind of the motion there, is make it more of a falling. How do we make it a falling? We just keep our weight centered. So as opposed to, step, leaving all my weight on my right foot, and then seeking out and adjusting. You guys are gonna wanna do this here, so watch. I'm gonna step behind. I can't tell if that's a picture of Samia or Samia looking at me. That's creepy, that's weird. Um, so I step behind, now I just keep my weight centered. Do you guys see that? So I move my weight with me into the high block. All right, guard stance, let's give that a try. You guys got five practices on your own. I wanna see some really good step. Allow your body to fall into that block. All right, 10 times on your own, go. How about Justin? I think you added an extra spin. Maybe. Hold up. Do it again. Let me see. No, you're good. All right. Cool. Mr. Rua, good to see you, sir. Okay. Guard stands up. That should be plenty of time for you guys to have done your uh, couple of rotations there. Now, think about accents. Okay. Um, if you've ever done uh, music or studied another language, they'll have like accents. And that, what that means is you're essentially putting more effort into one thing than other parts, right? Um, so the big you know, finish is always gonna be kind of accented out. It's gonna be louder, right? Certain words are gonna want you to pronounce certain letters in certain ways. And some of them are gonna be like uh, kind of a pop up. So think of that while we're doing our form. What do we want to accent? Okay? Yeah. Uh, less like sharps and flats accents um, and more like staccatos. Think of it more like staccatos where you're just popping off of it. Um, so um, we want a nice fluidity 
with our first couple strikes. So the windmill is very fluid. The next strike is a chop. Would you guys describe a chop as fluid or snappy? All right, give me a right hand for fluid, a left hand for snappy. I see Palmer raised his right hand first. That's correct. A chop is more fluid than a, uh, a punch, okay? So what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna flow into the chop and then snap the punch. So as we're here, where guard stands up, you guys shift over so you can actually see me. I'm going to have a nice flow into the high block, or sorry, it's not a chop, it's a high block. So a nice flow into the high block as I then quickly snap nice and strong into the punch, okay? Then the same way again here, I'm going to immediately, boom, hit nice and hard. I want my shovel or my ridge hand to strike hard in the middle, slow down a little bit to the chamber to come back with a nice clean chop. And then guess what I got again? Another punch. So I'm not gonna punch like this. I'm going to, boom. You guys see that kind of snap? It's powerful. Ooh, Oliver, that was crazy good. Yes, 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 yes. That was, you're not pulling away at all. You're not slowing it down at all. You're just popping it out there. That's exactly what you want. Let me see it. Yeah. So, um, this is what I see a lot is we get into this mode where we're going nice and flowing with those that the punch comes out like that. Do you guys see that? This is still a clean punch. It's chambered, it comes up to the chin, it drives out, it gets a rotation. See you later, Mr. Moody. It gets a nice rotation at the end. That's a good punch, but it's not a great punch. And we want great punches, so the difference here is I'll do that twice. You guys ready? And I'll do it sideways so you can kind of see it here. So first one is here. Cool. Still pretty fast. I'll even do it a little faster. You guys see that? The second one, just watch, okay? You see the difference there? All right, and that's what we want. Both of the strikes still hit it full length, chambered, chopped, punched, but the second one was much faster on the punch. So I sped up the punch, slowed down the chop, so the punch looked faster. All right, so let's practice that. Oliver, you got a question? Let me get them started and then you can ask. So you guys, a couple times here, practice this. Nice and slow and flowing, high block, snap into a punch, reach hand, chop punch. Boom. If you feel your back a little bit, then you're probably young. All right, but if you don't feel your arm kind of popping a little bit, then you're not doing it fast enough. All right, let's see, you guys go 10 times. It's Mia. What's the question? Oh, all right. If you put it in the chat, a lot of the times I won't see it because it disappears like super quick. So just be careful. If you're trying to say something to me, it'd be better to raise your hand and then ask uh, and ask once I give you permission. All right, Gage, Mr. Rua, Mr. Yelverton, let me know if you guys have any, uh, and Mr. Donovan, let me know if you have got any uh, concerns about that, or ideas, or, or questions. Okay, so again, nice clean windmill, ball into the high block, snap into the punch, reach in, chop, immediately snap into the punch. All right, so this should be a powerful punch. All right. If you're not gonna cause any damage with that punch, it's probably not a very good punch, all right? So let me see it. I want you to hurt the air. Go, give it a try. Let me see it, Evan. You need help? You got it? Good, now Evan, one thing I would say is actually bring, slow down your ridge hand chop and slow down this. The way, to, the way to think of it, have you guys ever seen a car uh, moving when you're standing on the road? So have you ever stood on the sidewalk 
or walked on the sidewalk and seen a car drive by you? Yes or no? Yeah, everyone, everyone's had a car drive by, okay? Uh, specifically not in the neighborhood, but like on a road road, okay? It looks like the car's moving pretty fast, doesn't it? Yeah? Yes. Good, cool. Have you ever been in a car? Yes. Have you ever seen a car driving next to you? Yes. Doesn't look like it's going very fast, does it? Even though that car is going the same speed as the other car was when you were standing on the sidewalk, what has changed is the speed that you are moving at, right? So when you're moving two miles an hour, three miles an hour, four miles an hour walking speed, and a car goes by at 45, theoretically, then that is, seems a lot faster because you're going so slow. But as soon as you're now in the car going 45, the cars going 45 don't seem as fast. Even a car going 50 next to you or 55 next to you does not seem as fast. You guys got it? So think of it that way, okay? This is you. So when we're here, this is you walking on the sidewalk, okay? But this punch, boom, that's the car going 45 next to you, okay? So that punch is at an entirely different speed than your strike is, all right? So think of that here, all right? This should be nice and slow, boom, and then that should be an entirely different speed. You guys got it? Let's see it, practice it, let me see it, go. Go, 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 two different speeds. I wanna get you guys to the point where you're doing like 18 different speeds, but for right now, we'll just work with two. I wanna see a nice here, boom, nice and slow, boom, strike it out. Bridge hand, shot, boom, strike it out. All right, two entirely different speeds. If you go slower on the ridge hand and the chop, your punch will actually look a lot faster. So a couple of you guys were saying uh, that I had a really fast punch. Well, how did I have a really fast punch? I just made my chops look slower. So you were used to seeing my chops move so slow, but then as soon as I punched at twice the speed, it seemed like 10 times faster. What's up, Oliver? You got a question? Everybody else keep practicing. Tamia! Let me see it. Can I show you what I got right now? Yeah, absolutely. I'm watching you guys right now. There you go. You can even slow down that chop a little bit. That'd be fine too. If you slowed down that chop, it'd still work out just as well. Uh, we're practicing, sorry, uh, we're practicing a windmill, nice and slow to a high block, nice and slow. And then you're gonna speed out on a punch really fast and then you're gonna ridge hand nice and slow into a chop, and as soon as your chop hits, pop out a punch really quickly. Gotcha. I'm seeing good stuff. Good, 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 good. Okay, time. Everybody go ahead and have a seat. Have a seat, lock it up. Lock it up. Hands are on your. Backs are. Yeah, there you go, all right. Cool, good job you guys. Don't forget your lock it ups. I'm gonna test you guys. We've got some cool changes to the studio, so you guys gotta make sure you get back there at some point. And you're only gonna do that if you lock it up. Otherwise, I'll fly inside, kick you through the uh, screen. I can do that. Maybe. All right. Um, we went a little long on the intensity form. That actually wasn't my plan for today, but you know what? I don't regret it. I feel like it was important that we talked about. Um, I could go on and do that one section of intensity form with you guys for seriously 9, 10, 15, 16 hours straight. Okay, because there is so much that we can do to fine tune and make it just so much, so much better, right? Uh, let, even if you, and if you wanted to do something different, maybe you wanted to have that intensity form be more practical in fighting, we could go down that and that would increase the amount of time I could talk for another 15 hours, okay? So um, 
just be aware here, there's a lot that goes into these uh, forms. Not a lot to learn of, okay? So understand who is learning these forms, okay? Well, who learns focus form? White, yellow, orange, purple. You guys got it? White, yellow, orange, purple. So if white, yellow, orange, purple are learning focus form, what is blue, green, brown, red, brown two, red, red two, red three, black belt, sec, first degree, second degree, third degree, fourth degree, fifth degree, sixth degree, seventh degree, eighth degree, ninth degree, tenth degree? What are they doing with the intensity form or with the focus form? Okay. Based on how you improve it to make it better. Yeah, improve it. Okay, because black belts still do the intense or focus form. They do every single black belt class. Every other-ish black belt class. But they do the focus form. A lot. A lot more than you'd think. Okay? But they don't need to learn focus form. They pass their test on it. So it's clearly not to learn focus form. Okay? So red belts, blue belts, green belts, brown belts, you guys. I want you to start thinking less about learning these techniques because that's what you should be doing as a white, yellow, orange, purple. Okay? White, yellow, orange, purple, you learn how to learn. Okay? Blue, green, brown, red, I want you guys to start focusing on perfecting these techniques and making them look the best that they can, okay? Which means add some rhythm to it. Some things are gonna be faster, some things are gonna slow down, okay? Start getting really good at lazy hands or getting rid of your lazy hands. Now, lazy hands means leaving your hand out a little longer than it's supposed to. So that could be where I uh, ridge hand, chop, and then I kind of punch, but my punch is already out here and my hand hasn't come back. It should be a very, very together motion, you guys. This hand will clear before that punch pops out. So that's another layer of depth. Kios, breathing, stances, how wide apart, okay? There are a lot of, lot of, lot of different layers to these things that we can add on, okay? So the focus that I want you guys to focus on, and this is gonna be your homework for the day, okay? Is practice what we worked on today with intensity form, okay? So just the windmill, high block, nice and slow, snap to a punch, ridge hand, chop, snap to a punch. You guys got it? And that is what you're gonna be working on. Nice and easy, nice and simple. Try to figure out what you can do. And red belts, Oliver, uh, Nathan, uh, Paxton, Palmer, you know, you guys, you already know that section. So if you get the speed down, then maybe come Thursday, you guys can show me some other things that you might have learned about it, right? So maybe you guys can show me some stronger stuff. You guys got it, yes sir? Yes, sir? Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Good. If you guys are too far away to yes, sir, I do accept thumbs up as a yes, sir. And I can also see your mouth move if you're on camera. Okay? All right. Yes, sir. Jump it up. Grab your nunchucks. Uh, I theoretically have some more time, so just don't look at the clock and we'll be good. All right? Okay. Um, since I don't have all the time to get into what I wanted to, let's just go ahead and review what we worked on Monday, Tuesday for the people that were not here Monday, Tuesday. So um, here, shoulder, guard stance, figure eights, go. Figure eights, figure eights. We know them. There are these bad boys right here. We just do them smaller. So I come down behind me, down in front of me, and then I just get it moving nice and small with the wrist. All right. Go ahead and do a couple extra ones. Maybe tighten up the wrist and keep it right in front of you and have it nice and narrow. And then maybe open up the arm a little bit and try a wider one. Both of these are correct. Neither of these are the right answer. Neither of these are the wrong answer. Maybe I want a very wide figure eight. Maybe I want a very narrow figure eight, right? So I can do a narrow figure eight. I can do a wide figure eight. They all work, okay? Now, to what we actually got. Ready? So if you guys are watching here, a figure eight is where I go down in front, down and back, okay? Even if I tighten it up, I'm still going down in front, down and back, and I know you cannot see that. 
and because the camera just doesn't pick it up very well, okay? A reverse figure eight is where instead of coming down, we're now gonna go up, okay? So normally I'm drawing an X, X, boom, all right? But instead of drawing it down and down, we're now gonna start and start drawing our X with a up, up, okay? And this is our reverse figure eight, okay? So start like we did with the figure eights, nice and big, big sweeping arm motions. You're coming up kind of like a backhand, up forehand, up backhand, up. These big sweeping ups, okay? If you got them, tighten it up, make it a little smaller, and see if you can get the uh, reverse figure eights. A lot of people got it, very good, let's move on. Okay, here, guard stance, ready? Figure eight down, reverse figure eight up. And just keep that going. Ooh, ah. All right, now make the Bruce Lee sounds. Wah. Palmer. I think you're saying something, but you're muted. So I'm assuming it's sassy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say 10 burpees. That's pretty difficult to do. So again, as we're working it, I can go big, big, touch my shoulder or hit, that's my hit. And then I can go big, big, back up to my shoulder, okay? So I can still do this with the big, sweeping motions, okay? That's the nice thing about nunchucks is you can practice pretty much everything with these big motions. You're more likely to hit your head, but you're also more likely to get it done. You can't actually do that stuff with bow staff because these big motions, you just get your bow staff stuck in places, okay? So figure eight down, figure eight up. Boom, 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 and boom. Okay, cool. Uh, so that's what I, uh, partially what I wanted to work on. So we'll hit the rest on Wednesday, Thursday. All right, you guys, uh, have a great day. If you have any questions, uh, go ahead and feel free to ask.